Dollar stores are known for their unbeatable bargain. But what if I told you, today I'm looking for the most expensive item. Will I find a hidden world of high value treasure? Or will I find overpriced junk that doesn't belong in a dollar store? Well, there's only one way to find out. First candidate on the list is a place you probably never heard of. It's a local store with a single location. I'm starting with the place that has the fewest number of locations all the way up to a place that has some 20,000 locations. We'll see what the differences are, similarities are, and how one store ranks against one another. I hope there are other guests inside, because it'll be really awkward. The store is a lot larger than I thought, and a lot quieter too. What you just heard? Wait, why am I whispering? I'm doing a voiceover. Huh? Anyhow, first thing that got my attention was this hat. So this is where all the guards at the concert were getting their gear from. Mm, I see. Match this with the security shirt and I can get in free, right? These hats were priced around $10 more or less. Not exactly a dollar or two, I see. Then there were the familiar single-use items for five or less, along with some things that even seemed and pat our best friend benjamin and i wish i had a lot of him new york souvenir plates here in virginia self-defense flashlights with electric shock capabilities pipes essence oil gaming headset wireless mouse to you name it and then i came across a new leader whatever the heck this is hmm Towards the back, it indeed looked more like a dollar store, filled with smaller size items that were perfectly lined up in rows and columns. Someone really took their time to line them up good. On the other side were beauty and party supplies that give dollar stores the identity of dollar stores. Yeah, me too. Alrighty, alrighty. I said I'm gonna buy the most expensive item, and I thought I did. I was leaving the store right at the door. Yeah, they had a fan running, $29.99. So what is it? <clears throat> it's me. There it is. Like, what do you call this? Like, what am I gonna do with it? I don't know, I have no idea. I thought I was gonna do like a review in my hand, in my car, show you guys what it is. But yeah, this is, um, this is not how I imagined my video would go. Okay, so we got, oh, a big pocket, a minor pocket here. Oh, oh so this must be the thermal pocket. Oh, I can fold it flat. All right. Yeah. So yeah, um, let me get back in the, in the car. Yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with the, the cart. I don't know. I really don't know. Was it something that you guys were expecting? Like, will I even find something similar in like other places? Family Dollar. With around 83 locations across the nation, this specific family dollar has like the weirdest photos on Google Maps. Like, <laughs> look at these. Look at these photos. And well, maybe after my visit, uh, maybe I can help them uh, update some of their outdated uh, photos. This was my first time ever setting foot inside a family dollar. I wasn't aware that it was such a large store with aisles of variety of products. Uh oh. Well, right in the first aisle, along with cute baby sharks, doo -doo 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 -doo, I was bombarded with items that were way over a dollar. Yep. Initially, I thought this video was gonna be cheap. <laughs> yep, these were items that I thought I would find, but items in the dollar range were very scarce. I even found some possibly market priced items. Please ask for assistance. Huh, cool. They even had some luxury items like the bounty paper towels. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, you can score an unbeatable bargain or totally get ripped off for five times the price. What? Hmm. Then I found a very good looking, oh, no, not me, 
a Bluetooth speaker. Are you able to check how much this? 1525. 1525, okay, yeah. thank you. Not bad actually, but for our purpose. It pains me to say this, but it was too good of a deal. <laughs> and at the last dial, holy cow. At least I managed to find the cheapest item in store. Yep, 40 cents. Alrighty, alrighty. Back in the car, and well, it was an interesting shopping experience. Traveling is expensive, so why don't I come up with something, some idea that won't cost too much, was my initial thought. I was like, okay, you know what? Dollar stores are known for their unbeatable bargains, right? And I was like, it can't cost that much. That's what I thought. I present you $45 sheet and converter set for a king size bag. Yes, um, it is Easy Care reversible seven pieces set. I mean, I have not even a Quinn, I have full size bed. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with this. Like, should I return this after the video? Let me know if that is something acceptable or if that's unethical thing to do. What your opinions are in the comments, like. All right, let's get ready to visit the next dollar store. And I'm kind of worried actually how much I'm gonna end up spending, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Now we are at the Dollar Tree. So they have 8,200 stores across 48 states, all along with 200 in Canada. International, baby. And they also own Family Dollar. So it'll be really interesting to see what the similarities and the differences are. All right. Another huge store, but it's okay. I've been to Dollar Trees in my school days. Let's just hope they haven't turned into a luxury department store, all right? I'll start in a corner that is not as crowded. Right in the first aisle, single-use items marked $1.25. The whole wall here, everything's $1.25. School supplies, $1.25. Want some snacks? $1.25. Are you thirsty? $1.25. Need a card? It's a dollar. Or even two for a dollar. Oh my god. Is there anything that's not $1.25? Mini Zangas, $1.25. Got Sonic. Is this $1.25 too? No way, right? Yep, $1.25. Ah. I wonder if they have the bounty. Because those are surprisingly expensive. Yeah. Like, I'd be willing to assume that anything that doesn't actually have a separate price tag is actually $1.25. I feel like I'm in a dollar store right now. Well, I guess a dollar twenty-five store now. So at this point, it was pretty obvious I'll have to look really hard to find something expensive. They even had frozen foods for a dollar twenty-five. So after a thorough search of many different candidates, ooh, I'm not me when I'm hungry. Alrighty, alrighty. Now, well, I have two items. I also have no idea what the heck I'm gonna do with this, but I got a Marvel, yes, a Marvel boys backpack for $5 and Ben and Jerry's ice cream for $5 as well. <laughs> yeah, five was the most expensive item inside the Dollar Tree. Now I wanted to ask an employee but then they were all so busy, lines and lines at the, at the register, and there weren't any employees walking around. Just and then this Ooh. is actually dollar twenty-five. Jack Lang's beef jerky for dollar twenty-five. <laughs> it is a tiny portion, but all right. For a dollar twenty-five. Okay, I've already had a couple pieces, but. Mm. Vermont's finest, Ben and Jerry. Let's actually get ready. Let's do it properly, yes? There are people walking by, giving me a, what's that guy doing? Look, but that's okay. I'm a professional, I think. 
I don't think I'll need fork and knife for my ice cream, right? Mm. Very good. Very good. Strawberry cheesecake. Yeah. So far, Dollar Tree does look like a dollar store. Family Dollar looks like just a regular store that just happens to have the word dollar in its name. Yeah, that's that's how it feels like. Nice. The Dollar General. This one spends nearly 20,000 stores. 20,000 stores across the US. Let's check out what it has to offer. Single step inside and it looks like a normal grocery store. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wait, did you see that? School supplies. All right, th this could be a dollar store. I, I still have hope, right? And right on the first dial. Oh God. Six packs, 12 packs of beer and seltzer. Oh gee. Sad. For their credit, they did have some cheap dollar deal items like a donut cutter, home and travel swing kit, some full size wow. bath and laundry items like shampoo and conditioners, the expected greeting cards, school and party supplies. Oh wow, someone's been partying. And last but not least, my favorite luxury item, bounty paper towels. Oh boy. But my purpose here was to find the most expensive item. Guess what? They even have a phone. Not foam, phone. However, these require an activation and subscription with their carrier service. And I said, hmm, disqualification because they're selling a service not an item. So thank you mobile carriers for locking your phone and requiring a subscription. Otherwise, I would have had to buy your phone. Phew. I'm back in the car and the Dollar General, uh-huh, much like the Family Dollar. Yes, it does have a name Dollar in it. Yes, they do come up when I search for Dollar Stores, but it's not really a Dollar Store like the Dollar Tree true 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 dollar stores don't have bounty kitchen towels yeah so here it is 32.50 yep lol home products number one clipper brand okay we got a lot of um i guess this would have some use maybe i don't know maybe i'll trim these and like i just spent hundred dollars today yay <coughs> This shirt I'm wearing was $3.99, you know, in the Fremont Street at Las Vegas. This did not, did not go how I thought the video would go. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be obvious in the, in the video. I think I'm gonna get home and then look up some of these items. Try to see if I got a good bargain, good deal, or if I just All right, welcome back to my wall of plot. The moment of truth is here. Drum roll, please. Today's best bargain award goes to the Dollar Tree's Marble Boys Backpack. Yes. The cheapest similar item I could find online was still $5 from Five Below. While all other items had some similar items, some for more, some for less, eventually making it a matter of preference. Alright, I have one final question for you guys. Was this video enjoyable? Let me know if you'd rather want to see more challenge videos involving more food or less food like this one. And YouTube thinks you'll enjoy this video. Thanks for watching guys.